What is up? Will here with Ranthusius, my YouTube channel covering Porsche ownership. And this video is a long overdue, much requested update on my 1976 911 S Coupe in ice cream metallic. I've had a lot of exciting content opportunities come my way lately. So this video just kind of kept getting pushed out and pushed out and pushed out, but here we are. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through kind of like an overview of my ownership experience of this car, what's gone down, where I'm gonna go with it next. Shortly after buying this car, I decided to do a deep mechanical refurbishment on the car. The car definitely deserved it. It needed a few things, so I uh, sent the transmission out, had that rebuilt. There was some metal in the, uh, in the gear oil. I also had the motor dropped and we did a reseal. We did all sorts of things to it. Of course, I captured all of that on video. I'll put a link to those videos at the end of this video. I went through the mechanical refurbishment process. I really spared no expense. I put a lot of time, energy, effort, thought, decision-making, and money into that project and while i was at it i did a few things cosmetically that i felt really brought the vibe to the car that i wanted once i got done with all that work my car add kicked in and i decided that i wanted to move it along so i put the 76 on bring a trailer unfortunately it missed reserve so i brought the car home and was fully ready just to enjoy it and then i tripped over something else another car that i decided that i wanted so here we are again, it's, I, I gotta sell the 76, I gotta move it along, I, I need to make room for the new car sitting behind me. Uh, so I have decided to once again make it available to the market and this time I'm really, really rolling the dice. I'm gonna be putting it on Bring a Trailer with no reserve. In this video, I'll get you up to speed with some footage of the car as it sits today and, and just talk to you a little bit about what this experience is gonna look like next. Please subscribe to this channel for Porsche content. Let's get into it. Hello viewers, this is a much anticipated, much requested update on my 1976 911S and ice green metallic with cork interior. The car has a 3.2 motor. And if you've been following along, you know that I bought this car about a year ago. I was so excited when I bought it. I'll put a, uh, a link to the playlist about this car starting with my first acquisition video at the end of this video. Today, I wanted to give you an update as to where we are with the car. With me is the man who has really played a key role in my ownership of this 76. We put this car on Bring a Trailer and unfortunately the car fell short of the reserve very, very marginally. It was not expected because this is such a beautiful example. I had all the documentation on the au auction page so anybody who was looking could see just how much has gone into this car. So car missed reserve. I brought the car home, got right with keeping it. And then I came over here to Patrick's shop. I was shooting an owner interview with him on his killer 912. And I noticed behind the 912 sat a gorgeous gray G body. And during the interview, I didn't pay much attention to it. But after, um, at the end of the interview, I looked over, I said, man, what year is that? He told me it's 86. And an 86 Carrera is very, very close to my heart. Uh, my first G body was an 86 Carrera. I had a lot of great times in it. It was guards red, which wasn't my favorite. So uh, I ended up selling it. And when I saw this gray uh, 3.2, man, I just fell in love. So fast forward, that 86 is now in my garage. And <laughs> as a result, I need to go back to selling this 76. If you're a Porsche guy, then you know, often when you pick up a new car, you gotta sell a car to make room. And so. That's the background on the car, where I'm at. Today, I thought we would talk a little bit about, you know, what we're gonna do with this car back on Bring a Trailer, what the strategy is from Patrick's perspective, he's a power seller on BAT, what his thinking is on how you reintroduce a car to the market that missed reserve. So uh, what I'll do now is I'll turn it over to Patrick. That's the story on the car. Talk to me. Yeah, so reserve not met, it's a really interesting thing. I'll give you credit. You basically said, Patrick, with this car, when we run it, I trust you. If we're going to sell, sell. And, you know, that was partly my call to not just drop the reserve and sell it. We were really close, like you said, but personally, I love this car. And I just think there's a little more value there. And I just can't stand, you know, being a professional seller, uh, selling something short. So we're back here. We're going to reintroduce the car to the market. We kind of considered different options. Do we, do we go PCA classifieds? Do we go Hemmings? You know, are there other avenues? And as you know, I'm a big fan of bringing a trailer. And I said, you know, let's take it back. I didn't want to take the exact same car back to market though. So 
we, we decided to give the car some, some slight changes um, based on feedback that we, we received. So again, bringing trailers in open form for discussion, there's pros and there's cons there. But one of the pros that we chose to really focus on was a comment that said, you know, look guys, this car is awesome, but it's not really modified enough to be considered a hot rod, but it's modified just enough to not really uh, appeal to the more purist crowd. So we talked about that, and I think that's good feedback. So we decided, hey, a lot of the things that you've done cosmetically, uh, easily reversible. So let's go back more towards the original look with the car, because it's a great look. So as you can tell right now, we're going back to the original sugar scoops, the chrome rockers, and of course, the Fuchs wheels. So yeah, we're giving it kind of a, a fresh face before we reintroduce it to the market. Yeah, and, and for me, I, um, you know, I, I'm a pretty seasoned you know, private seller. I say this in all my videos, I am not a dealer, I don't sell for profit, I buy and sell these cars because I love experiencing them. Um, but in this case, I just didn't really want to get into the whole like listed on PCA classifieds and Renlist and Pelican and deal with the inquiries. I mean, Patrick and I chatted and um, even though putting it on bat, no reserve is, is a risky proposition, at least we know the car will sell. Yeah, it's the beautiful thing about the process. You know, in seven days, the car is going to sell. I think it's going to do well. You know, I have a lot of faith in this car you were a little more concerned, you know, hey, is that even a thing, right? Like, if you, if you put a car back on bad after it misses reserve, is that just like a death sentence? I don't think so whatsoever, especially on a car like this. So when we talked about our strategy, making these slight changes and then bringing it back to market, I'm really pumped to, to get another shot at this car. Okay, so we just covered the, like the transformation we're doing on the car, taking it back to more of a stockish look given the feedback we got during the auction. Patrick, what else, what else did we hear about in the auction that we could talk about? Yeah, right so um, when I picked this car up from you, we were going over it and you mentioned the previous owner had said, you know, there was a bump up front. Didn't think it was really bad, but you did make me aware of it. Mid auction, the previous owner reached out to me and said, hey, uh, just want you to know if you pull the spare tire out and you look from the uh, rear of the car towards the passenger bulkhead, you'll see some evidence of the previous repair. You may want to throw a picture up just so people know. And I'm really glad that he did that um, because obviously it gives everyone uh, more clarity as to what's going on with the car. Um, it was mid auction, which is not ideal, but it, it needed to be shared. So we pulled everything out, we put some pictures up and um, you know, being that it was mid-auction, not ideal, may have killed a little bit of momentum for some people. Now I'm, I'm happy that we know about it and we can come out of the gate. I'm gonna pull everything out. I'm gonna get five, 10, 15 really detailed photos of the area and say, look, this is what we know. Um, the previous owner was very confident that the fender had not been replaced, which is a good sign of you know, the type of hit it received. And yeah, now we've got it all out there from, from the beginning, 100% transparent, just a more complete story on that. Yeah, and I think that's a fear that people have of, of bringing trailers. It like, you know, what, where are the gotchas? Um, you know, that's in there. We are going to show a lot of information about it, a lot of photos of it. And, you know, to put a bow on that, I, uh, you know, the, the previous owner showed that to me during my purchase process. I mean, it was really, really a non-issue in my view. So clearly I, you know, I just proceeded right ahead. Right. It's a, it's a 1976, um, this is not a reference example, right? This is not a sub 10,000 mile example that you're gonna reference when you're doing a nut and bolt rotisserie restoration. This car has been driven, it's been enjoyed, it's been rallied. It has a history just like many, many of these cars. So yeah, this has been a, a fun ride, a great ride. I've learned a lot. Um, I'm really, frankly, if I'm, honest. I mean, I'm pretty proud of the work I did to the car. I put a lot of time, energy, effort, money, heart, soul, uh, thought, decision making into it. And, you know, I really believe that this car is going to make someone exceptionally happy. So there it is, the kind of the wrap up on the 76S. I am very excited to show you guys the Meteor Gray 86. Similar but different animal to this one. 86 is my favorite year. And so, 
you know, I look forward to more videos on that car as well as many other, so, others, excuse me. So I, I do hope to see you next time.